bu nyankopo bia somno na mi somi nana no mamma mre amehu no me somno se sada no do na ewu ko na wo tumi ko heaven na manko bia enye problem but the only person who said it's a time for Africa say, you need be, you need better hope. They are who say church is a business maker with no fear. Welcome to JMTVGH. Um, as I promise you this year, this year is year of quality, not quantity. So today I'm here once again to bring you a very beautiful teaching. If we say spiritual cleansing what is the meaning of spiritual cleansing or how can we do spiritual cleansing so today i'm here with uh togbi totosau togbi totosau for him to explain us spiritual cleansing so that you can know what is the meaning of spiritual cleansing or how you can go about it so uh, just go to youtube and subscribe to jmtvgh don't forget to like comment and share so that everyone can get this teaching to learn something about spiritual cleansing so i will not spend much time uh, you just give me one minute let me go to commercial break when i come back i'll go to Tobi totosau for him to give us spiritual cleansing i'm coming right now Once again, as I went to commercial break, thank you for still watching JM TVGH. As I said earlier, try to subscribe. Mm? Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, share, comment, and like as well. All those things will help us. So I will not waste much time. Let me go to talk with to Tosau and start. What is the spiritual cleansing, right? Spiritual cleansing. What we say, spiritual cleansing. What do you know about spiritual cleansing so that he can give us more explanation for us to know the best? Tobi? Ago. Marokuku, Modon Dina. Odo. Me for. 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 So, uh, before I start, I have to speak my language, you know, uh, for you to know that uh, I know how to speak the tonal language. Toby, uh, today we are here to learn something very big. I will not say small. Because so many people are telling us uh, you have to do spiritual cleansing, you have to do this, you have to do that uh, before you'll be okay. So, someone will ask, what is spiritual cleansing? Yo, spiritual cleansing well you see when we're talking about spiritual cleansing mm -hmm. uh, it has to do with uh, how you can make yourself very flexible how you can make yourself to have peace of mind okay to be in a state of bliss state of harmony, state of joy. Okay. So, spiritual cleansing, once you've gone through a spiritual cleansing, you expect your whole system, okay. your whole body to be very calm okay. and serene. Okay. So, when we're talking about spiritual cleansing, mm -hmm. it's a system where one must go through spiritually mm -hmm. and try to take certain things off from your system okay be it body mental mm -hmm. physical and spiritual okay so when we say we are doing spiritual cleansing it doesn't mean spiritual 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 but what it means is that working on your own inner world and also the outer world Okay. When I say the outer world, I'm mm. talking about your body state. Okay. And when I'm talking about the inner world, I'm talking about your, your spiritual self. Mm -hmm. So when we are talking about spiritual cleansing, it's about taking care of your inner world okay. to become very, you know, stable, harmony, so that you can have full concentration to make way through in this life. Okay. And also... Okay. The spiritual 
human cleansing is individual. Mm -hmm. When I say individual, what I'm trying to say is that, you see, two people can come for spiritual cleansing, okay. but they might end up going through different kinds of processes. I because see. Uh, the pain, you know, one has gone through a certain dimension, the oh. other one also gone through different kinds of, you know, mm. lifestyle okay. that brought about, you know, the need for, you know, going through a spiritual cleansing. Okay. So for these people, coming to a spiritual you know leader for them to be work on okay. is it's a system that you know individually you might not see yours you know matching with somebody else because at the end of the day what I have seen in life mm -hmm. what you have seen in life is two different. different things okay. together. Uh -huh. okay. So simply spiritual cleansing is about you know taking care of your body state, mm -hmm. taking care of your spiritual state or internal state so that you can be free from you know any hindrances okay so per what you've gone through in life that will determine uh, the the type of spiritual yeah, exactly you're doing. exactly okay. what you've gone through life mm -hmm. is what must be worked on okay so what i want what what i went through mm -hmm. is definitely different from yours what I, okay so you know doing spiritual cleansing for two or three people it has to be different thing altogether okay so to, to some, someone has how important of doing spiritual cleansing yes you see uh, it is very important to do spiritual cleansing because as you wake up from bed mm -hmm. you started you know seeing things touching things yeah. eating saying mm -hmm. listening to so many things and all of these things attract death okay you step out, you are in town, you have seen so many things. Yeah. So don't forget that uh, your eyes are also attracting death into okay. the system. Okay. So once the eyes is attracting so many things, mm -hmm. all of those things are going to be on you. So you need to go through a system to you know clear the unwanted ones. Okay. So Likewise, you go out touching, saying so many things, hearing so many things. All of these things give us a lot of problems mm -hmm. that we just don't know. So it is very important for one to go through a spiritual cleansing because, as I said, you be you know, stepping out, doing a lot of rounds, and at the end of the day, you come home, you, you bath, and the next day you go out. That's what you are doing is that uh, all the things that you have seen during the day, you are piling them in the body, okay. in the soul. Mm -hmm. So as they are there, they will prevent you or prevent so many chances on your path. Mm -hmm. So that is why spiritual cleansing is very important for each and everyone. At least once in a while, you have to, you know, do Just, cleansing. Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right. So let, let, let me ask this question. What are the things you do uh, makes you spiritual unclean? Yes. You see, as I said earlier, there are various senses that we, we do have that attract so many things into the system or okay. into the body and the soul. Okay. So earlier I said, whatever you see mm -hmm. gives you good and the opposite okay so and whatever you touch whatever you listen to whatever you say or eat or drink mm -hmm. all of these things bring death okay. so once you are attracting death through all these senses mm -hmm. there is a need for for you to do what to clear the unwanted ones the, so that you can you know be free from progress okay yeah so what it means is that uh, mm -hmm. for instance the food you are eating, okay. it is sweet, but at the end of the day, it is going to leave certain things on the body. Really? So, yeah. So, once these things are piling there, mm -hmm. you, you need to, you know, take them off okay. spiritually so okay. that it doesn't bring sickness. Okay. Whatever you drink, you eat, you touch, all of these things are in the system. Okay. You have to take them off so that... Once you're taking them off, you are doing away with sickness. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, spiritual cleansing is much important to 
you know, do so that you can take away sickness, sorrow, and all of that mm. out of the system, out of the way. Okay, so per what you are saying means not only maybe hearing that, oh, maybe some devil or demon is worrying me, that will make you to come and do spiritual cleansing, but everything at all that we are doing is necessary for us to do spiritual cleansing. Oh, yes. You see, today we, once somebody is going through difficulties, then we attribute it to devil, yeah. we attribute it to so many kinds of Witchcraft and things. those stuff. But you see, there are a lot of things that we are doing that are blocking our own ways. Instead of us to concentrate and treat these things, we end up saying things that have nothing to do with us. Okay. So when we, we are going through life, there are so many things that you know touch us that we need to take them off. Okay. Yeah. So it means that in life, you need not to you know say somebody you know my woes, my, what is happening to me, it is being caused by somebody. We don't have to be going that way. Mm -hmm. Once you wake up from bed every day, the thing you start saying, hearing, all of these things contribute to your downfall. Mm -hmm. They contribute to your up, up, uprising, yes. up, upgrading. Mm -hmm. So there is a need for individuals to reassess and define what man or woman can do for progress in okay. terms of spiritual growth okay uh -huh. so so okay so let's let's ask them is there any soul cleansing yes there is there is so soul how can we do that soul, soul cleansing yeah you see most of the things that we do in life mm -hmm. Um, again going to hit on what we see, what we do, what we eat, what, all of these things leave so many things on the body. Okay. Now, if you are going through serious problems in life, mm -hmm. quickly you have to go back into your memory okay. and see things that you have done right, those that you have done wrong, mm -hmm. okay. so that you start correcting them. Okay. Because in this life, everything is working. Okay. The sound that is coming out of our mouth mm -hmm. has its own vibrations. Okay. So when this sound hits somebody, mm -hmm. it will leave an effect on the person, oh, whether good or bad. Okay. So whatever you, you say has Implication. serious implications. Implications for okay. yes. So what it means is that. We just have to be careful in life. Okay. Once we are being careful in life, we are also applying spiritual maturity. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So what it means is, every day you wake up from bed, what do you have to do? You have to be conscious of yourself. Mm -hmm. Things that you touch, you say, you listen to, you eat, you have to be conscious of all of them. Okay. You just don't have to wake up and start doing things unnecessarily. You see, mm -hmm. so once you are doing some of these things, you end up bringing a lot of death into the system. Okay. And okay, so that means any word we spoke in the past or anything we do in the past can bring damage to the soul? Yes. So I was coming to the question you asked about soul processing okay. or soul mm -hmm. cleansing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so as I was saying, all of these things that you are doing, mm -hmm. they all constitute so many things that will pull the body or the system or your growth down. Mm -hmm. So once you are working in life, it will reach a time that everything you, you, you want to do, the understanding is lost. Okay. You won't get it. Mm -hmm. It's like if you are applying for a job, that, that you are not getting a job. Okay. But somebody will go there and give the person a job. I You'll see. be asking yourself, what is happening? What have I done wrong? Then you start accusing somebody that is this my grandmother, mm. is this my mother in law, in -law? Mm. is this, this, is that. We have to be very careful with what we say. Okay. So spiritual cleansing or soul cleansing mm -hmm. must start from yourself. I see. Yes. If what you are doing, you are not conscious of it, mm -hmm. how can somebody do spiritual cleansing for you? Mm. 
if what you are doing you are not conscious of it mm. if you come to me to do spiritual cleansing for you i'll ask you so many questions but you see i just said that mm -hmm. before anything went for you you must be conscious okay so for you to do soul processing or for you to do a soul cleansing mm. it means that you must first understand your, 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 the wrong things that you have done. Okay. You must first understand that, okay, what are some of the things that I am doing that are not in the right way? Okay. So many things we wake up, we just open our mouth and say. Mm -hmm. But remember, sound is what created the whole universe. Mm -hmm. So once you are saying certain words against somebody, it is nature you are talking to. Mm -hmm. You are also part of life, yeah. part of this nature. Mm -hmm. So those things will go and come and hit you back. Mm -hmm. And if the implications are not pulling you down, then you start pointing figures to some other people that they are the, the problem that you are having. Mm -hmm. But you see, so when you go to a spiritual leader for cleansing, mm -hmm. yes, the soul processing or the soul cleansing is very important for you to start from home. Okay. If you start this from home, will anybody you go to will assist you very simple. Mm -hmm. The reason is that if you don't realize your mistakes, if you don't realize what you, you are doing that are not helpful, mm -hmm. who will do what for you? Mm. They can do everything necessary for you, but it will not work. The reason is you have to open up yourself so that you can gain that spiritual growth mm -hmm. so you are putting all of these things onto the body okay it means that the soul is being shattered you shattered the soul down mm -hmm. and now that you have realized that oh, okay i have to work on myself so that realization that state of awakening that you have mm -hmm. quickly you must go within yourself to see the things that you have done right or wrong mm. so that if you go for help mm. it can be easy for the spiritual leader to, to assist you for your spiritual okay opinion. okay Togbi, thank you but what if maybe uh, per what you are saying that you have to quickly go within yourself and remember the past the wrong thing what if uh, i didn't remember anything <laughs> you see why would you how come all of a sudden you say you want a spiritual cleansing? Or is it somebody forcing you to do spiritual cleansing, to do soul processing? No. Once we are in this life, mm -hmm. things are not getting, you know, most often, once things are not getting better in our lives, then we start thinking about solutions. You understand? Mm -hmm. But once things are getting better, Today, everything is about money. Mm. Once you are getting money, you will not think about any other thing. Okay. So, but that is not, money is the least aspect of what, uh, why we are in this life. Okay. So, we normally go to our spiritual leaders for cleansing because things are not working in our life. Mm -hmm. So, once you have that awakening energy that things are not working in my life, why don't you first go within yourself and ask things that you might have done that are blocking your chances? Mm. It's possible that one or two will click the mind okay. for you to hear. Okay. To, 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 to get. Okay, before I go to the next question, uh, many of times some people saying this. Oh, sometimes when you go to people who do Vuju or people who do spiritual things, and you, you go and get some things later they make you forget everything because of that when you get the consequences you will not remember anything to tell the other one to solve the problem for you how, how, how is that about those things because we need to remember before the other one who is going to do the cleansing for us can solve the problem for us so how true about those things before someone will come to the other person to solve the problem for him or her well you see uh, it looks like every time the word voodoo comes into the forefront it, 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 it looks like evil yeah it looks like devilish mm -hmm. but you see 
Going in detail, looking at the word voodoo is to be free. Something that can free you, okay. that can give you freedom. Okay. So the word vo means to be free, and mm. the word do is state. Yeah. So your whole body is a state on its own. Mm -hmm. So the word voodoo means you should free your, your yourself state. from any any hindrance, any challenge, anything that is worrying you. Mm. Yes. So if it is sickness, the word voodoo means free yourself from sickness. Okay. You know, if it is poverty, free yourself from poverty. Okay. Uh -huh. But you see, you were asking if you go to somebody who applies this voodoo mm -hmm. and they help you with voodoo mm -hmm. and you promise to come and say something, thank you, and you have not, and you have forgotten, and all yeah, of that. Yes. But you see, why would you go to a certain place for help and what you have promised that okay if this thing work for me i will come and say thank you mm -hmm. and yes it did work for you mm -hmm. but you have forgotten mm -hmm. they say the people who made us forgot Quick that people. The, the people who give us the medicine but how to, possible yeah. can that be mm. how can you go to somebody to help you Mm. And the person will help you, and yet will, 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 will do something for you to forget and come and say, Thank you. What will he or she get from mm. doing that to you? He will not get anything. Okay. So, that I don't know where you get it from, but it is not true. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. If you come with your problems, ours is to help you solve this problem. Mm -hmm. So that if you go, and the problem is solved, you come and say thank you. Yeah. So we will always be praying for you that this thing that you have come for work in your life. Mm. So why? No, we don't do that. Okay. We don't do. So, but why on earth will you also go to some place and what you ask for has come to pass, mm -hmm. and you say you have forgotten? But that doesn't mean that. You have forgotten, so the person should punish you. Okay. It is not done. Mm -hmm. If anybody is doing that, that means that the law and order of this universe is not going to be well with that person. Okay, so can we say maybe the person doesn't punish him, but the, the energy who helped the person that punished the person? No, can we say no. that? You see, the energies that you are using to do the right thing, mm -hmm. Kofi came to you. Mm -hmm. You've assisted coffee with that same energy. Mm. Why would we send that same energy to coffee to go and destroy coffee? Okay. First, mind you that these energies, they are all living things. Okay. It's not that they are just something that you, you say, ah, then they will go and destroy it. That's mm. not how they work. Mm. So, these energies, you see, there are so many things that we need to learn. Mm. That the people who are with these energies, they ought to have very good mind mm -hmm. with the system. Okay. So once you have a good mind with the, the energy that you have, it is going to work and bring good things. Okay. And help the people that who also come for help. Mm -hmm. But I don't have any idea why somebody will come to you for good thing, you help the person later, then you, you do something that will destroy the person. It is not that done. And All right, I, Togbi, thank you. I asked this question because I, I want us to get some uh, clarification. Maybe someone will say, oh, uh, I went to uh, Togbi for spiritual cleansing. I didn't remember anything or I couldn't remember anything that I do in the past. But per what he's saying, he said before you come to do spiritual cleansing, or before even the mind said to come that I wanted to do spiritual cleansing, you need to remember the past. Maybe things that you do wrong or good, you need to remember all those things. But sometimes when some of you call this the question or this the thing you, you said, they say when you go for spiritual help, later they will just punish you or later they will make you forget everything. That's the reason why I ask this question. For you to get some mindset that there's no truth 
in those words that they give us that oh when you go for help they will later make you for God so that they will punish you so Toto Sao said there's nothing like that in African spirituality so when you are coming to do cleansing first thing you must do hey did I promise a woman a years back did I insult someone back all those things so that when you come you say oh, talk me I did A I did B I did C for him to know how he will go about the spiritual cleansing. Here is JMTVGHM, the program called African Spirituality. But today we are discussing what is uh, spiritual cleansing. Eh? What is spiritual cleansing? When we say spiritual cleansing, what is the meaning of spiritual cleansing? And how can we go about spiritual cleansing? Uh, let me go to Tutosau to ask my final uh, question then he will give us uh, his final words then today uh, this day's program i'll do it short 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 for you so that you understand very deeper than to do it long and you will not understand anything okay toby uh, i i just get that uh, this thing very clearly that i need to understand that anything that i do in the past will hate me in the future so uh, before I go to my last question, can we say that called karma that people are saying? <laughs> well, whatever you do, it is right there with you. Whatever you do in this life, it is right there in your own memory and oh, okay. in the memory of the whole cosmos. Okay. So, that was the reason why I was saying earlier mm -hmm. that if you want to do spiritual cleansing, mm -hmm. you quickly have to go within yourself Ooh, I see. and try to bring out things that you have done mm -hmm. that might block your chances of growth. Okay. So once you open up on these things, mm -hmm. anything that your spiritual master will do for you, it will work. It must work because mm. you have opened up. Some of them you do them, but you hide it from not your spiritual people. It. Okay. You do them without knowing, unconsciously. You do them. Oh, okay, okay. Some mm -hmm. you intentionally did do, them. Okay. You understand. Okay. So once you understand yourself and realize that oh, this thing that I I did in the past, mm -hmm. I have to you know take them off mm -hmm. from a system, mm -hmm. then you have to open up on them mm -hmm. so that your spiritual master can also assist you. Mm -hmm. But before I come for your next question, mm -hmm. you see, I don't know if that question is coming, no, but uh, okay. the process of doing spiritual cleansing mm -hmm. is uh, we have several ways of doing mm -hmm. spiritual cleansing. Okay. So it depends the person who wants to do the spiritual cleansing. Mm -hmm. And it depends if you are a man or a woman, if you are born on Monday or Tuesday or whatever day you are born. Mm -hmm. All of these things count when you are doing soul processing. Mm -hmm. And also, it's also important, it is also important that we know where you are from. Okay. You understand? Mm. Because anything that we are going to do for you, there must be an ancestral connection. Okay. So we cannot do things for you without ancestral contacting your, your roots, your, your, your ancestors, your ancestors. We cannot mm. you know, do anything without contacting them. Okay. So whatever thing we are going to do for you, mm. there, there is a need for us to you know fall on your Asian father mm. for you know support. All right. Okay, you, you want to, to come yeah. You can come because I want to ask my last question. So if you have something before, yes. the last question. So yeah. the spiritual cleansing, we have it in several dimensions. Okay. We can use spiritual herbs mm -hmm. to do spiritual cleansing for you. Okay. We can also do pure African spiritual meditation system mm -hmm. to you know take off certain death from you before you use the spiritual herbs. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay. Uh -huh. Then we also use formulas or some formulas that you use for some time for you to get relief from this 
kind of debt that you have attracted. Okay. Uh -huh. So all of these things are there that we use to do spiritual or uh, soul processing. Okay. So as I was saying, any day that you were born, when we are doing these things, they are all important, very important for us to understand before know, knowing the exact thing to, to get for you. Okay, so how many times can one do uh, spiritual cleansing? How many times? Mm -hmm. Very often, very often. To, mm. to be on a good vibration, yeah. you ought to be first of all, be conscious of yourself. That is, a, you see, you don't have to, as we are in a new year, yeah. you have to do spiritual cleansing to start the year, mm. to make sure that this year is a holy year, so that things can, you know, come your way. Okay. But if you have not done it means that all the things that you that pile on you from the last year, mm. you are taking them into this year. Okay. And continuously, you are going to attract a lot of things from this year and add to the old ones, which is not going to help. Mm. So, the question, how frequent can one do spiritual cleansing? Yeah. Almost any time possible at your disposal, you so, should be able so, to so, do so, so, it's not the issue for me to say, oh, uh, 31st night I do spiritual it can what, what, take me in the whole year. You wait for a whole year before you do a spiritual cleansing. Wow. Whereas every blessed day, every second, you are attracting that. Why would you wait for a whole year to? Why, why do you have to compile? No. So if you come to Tosau, I come to Tosau, come and do some one of two things, and I, maybe I go to the uh, different place uh, to do something, and that place to the request a, a spiritual cleansing. So it's not bad for doing you, you spiritual see, cleansing. You see, spiritual cleansing, mm -hmm. it is something that you has to be habitual. You mm -hmm. always have to be. All of these things that we are attracting, mm -hmm. that what you are eating, mm -hmm. do you know, you get sickness through what you eat. Yeah. You get sickness through what you say. Yeah. You get sickness through what you listen to. Yeah. You get sickness through what you touch. Yeah. All of these things, every day you step out, you attract so many through things. your ears, through your nose, through your mouth, through touching. So many things. So why would you have to pile all these things that let at the end of uh, December 31st before I'm going to do uh, spiritual cleansing? Mm. No, you mm -hmm. don't do that. Mm. Because all of these things, they are in the system. Okay. They will give you sickness. So if you are sick, you go to hospital, they don't, they are not diagnosing what is wrong with you mm. what do you think what do you think is happening to you okay some of the things are spiritual but it doesn't mean that somebody is working on you spiritual no mm. it means that what you are saying yourself what you say As what you are eating, bring you spiritual all implication these attracts, they mm. are sound they are vibrations okay anything you touch there is vibration that comes out of it mm. so all of these things give us problems all right talk with you to south thank you but today give us your final word then we will continue because well, uh, this topic uh, is plenty so uh, yes, we will continue uh, the next African episode spiritual cleansing yeah as i was saying there are several ways of doing soul processing okay you know when you say we are doing soul processing it it, it means that we have to understand the rules and mechanism and the rules and the law and order governing your entire state, mm. your entire being. Mm. So if you know that, you can be able to control mm. or advise the person mm. or do proper thing for the person. Mm. You know, if you come to me mm -hmm. and you say you want cleansing, mm. the best thing is to divine for you okay. and know the spiritual code that that will come. Okay. That spiritual code that will come will say everything about what you touch, what you ate, what you said or listened to, all of those things it will say then. Okay. Then how to do the spiritual processing for you, mm. that same spiritual code will come with that solution. Mm. So you just follow and help the person. That is why I said earlier that mm -hmm. You don't do the same spiritual cleansing or soul processing 
for every we don't use that same formula for everybody we okay. don't do that okay because why kojo is coming from it's different from what we see is coming from okay and there are two individuals okay the rules and regulation the law governing them they are all different okay so if i am doing the same prayer for you doing the same prayer for some it will not work hmm. yes i must understand the vibration the reading at that particular time that mm. you came, mm. I must understand it. It is only that that I can use to help you. Mm. Yes. So it depends. The processes are different. Yes. Mm. Thank you. It depends. It depends. The processes are different. So uh, I think you are learning more like how I'm learning here because this is the first time knowing all this that praying the same prayer for everyone. Oh, I understand. Today. That's the reason why some of us, we went to church so many years, because <laughs> they will pray the same prayer for all of you. Some will get the result by me. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to JMTVGH and like, share, and comment. You just bring your comment, not insulting, but how you think if the programs go, it will help is welcome to jmtv gh and today we have discussed spiritual cleansing uh, we will continue the next episode so uh, my dop and director of photography is mauto my editor is asaling gh and my producer is nana adwa me myself my name is jm see you in the next episode bye bye think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money. That is all. Then they believe. One who is young, who is a big sum. Now, my sum is not my mamre and my hono. My sum is the sad and the only who can now to me call heaven. Now, my sum is any problem. But the only person who says it's a time for Africa. Say, the only baby, the only better for they who say church is a business maker with no fear. So soon we are seeing that your friend is helping you now. One more time. Now, when people say they are planning to see you here, now, no, no, they are not. They are not even thinking about you. They are not even thinking about you.